there is something I want to mention here, and I haven't mentioned anywhere else within our interviews or on stage, but <clears throat> given the announcement, it's a personal it's a personal d- deal, and we get to share it with everyone, which is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Tony is really good at that. <laughs> Everyone knows what's happening oh. with him, so we compliment <laughs> each other on that. But with NHRA being the most diverse professional motorsport in the world, and we have so many female champions and sportsman drivers that I hope after this that the NHRA comes up with a pregnancy protocol. You know, there's COVID protocol, injured drivers in pro mod. It's whether our international drivers can make it through the border or not. They could have turnover for drivers. So I hope that this uh, encourages a change to where you're not pigeonholed into a one month situation like I am of making this decision. Because for those that, that don't know, it's not it's not fair if I just move forward and don't know when we're going to get pregnant. And if that happened in May or whatnot, my points are totally scrapped. And my guys, our partners, all of our chase for a championship goes out the window, jeopardizes it in every way. Tony could get in the car. That's great. Points reset. That's not cool. That's not what we're about. So I hope that there's something down the road where when that happens and that replacement driver, that the points stay with the team in that regard so that females can continue their professional career in a way that is less hindered it's already hindered enough with it and i hope we can wrap our arms around that and 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 be a a pillar in something i got chills i got a little teary-eyed thank you very much for that that is so true because i know courtney horse had a little struggle with that as well like am i going to get out of the car are we going to thank you because that does need to happen not just in nhra even though it is the most diverse right now but we can be the forward every series yes yes why i want to i want to hug her right now i know watching your lip flutter right there. We know that those things are going on. And hopefully this might be an impetus to get people off their ass that have something swinging between their legs to get something going. I'm sorry. Tony? It it created, it made the process of making that decision even harder. Because you want to let God set the time for when this happens. And what it forced us to have to do is to plan and have to make a plan. You don't want to have to make everything in your life a plan. You want some things to happen organically and naturally and let God decide. So we don't have that ability without the protocol in place that she's asking for. And it is time. NHRA is the most diverse form of motorsports in the world, period. Undisputed. But with that come unique sets of challenges as well. And it's not fair to female drivers to have to sit there and try to plan families and off seasons and this and that to, to make these things happen. So it's, uh, it, it needs to happen. Everything that she's fighting for is for the right reasons. And it's, and it's not about us. It's about who, who else down the road we help to not have to be backed into one of us.